These two guitars from a couple of my favorite manufacturers are similar in spirit, but they got a couple key differences. I got two small bodied spruce mahogany finger pickers here. I'm gonna tell you all about them. Stick around. How's it going, y'all? This is Cooper Greenberg here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, turn your notifications on, like the videos, comment on them, go to the Spring Store, check out the podcast, all the good stuff. Let's get into some guitars. Now, like I said, I got two things going on here. I got two little guys, one from Martin, one from Ferk. Yes, I'm going with FERC today. I'm tired of saying FERCH and getting corrected in the comments. I still feel uncomfortable doing it and I might slip up, but just know I read the comments and I know what you're saying. I know it's not FERCH. So FERC, we're gonna put aside for a second. I'm gonna talk to you about the Martin that I've got. So not too long ago, we did a video on a 0018 Modern Deluxe that was pretty much a one-off and Given the history that I know we have with double O's in uh, Martin's standard series, I did not expect that guitar to take off as much as it did. It sold pretty much immediately, and we still have people constantly asking if we're going to get another one in. Probably not. Um, and if we still have it, no, we do not. But I think it did reinvigorate a little bit some of the appreciation for Martin's double O's. So the double O18, the double O28 both fantastic guitars now these are the 14 fret versions if you go into the modern deluxe series um, you can get yourself a double o and a single o 28 12 fret version but in just the normal standard series we're working with 14 frets um, where the neck meets the body the other one i'm going to show you spoiler alert it's 12 fret that's the biggest difference between them but let's get back into martin so this is a standard martin double o 18 We've shown you a single 018, and we've shown you the modern deluxe version of the 0018 that doesn't exist. This is your straight up go-to kind of concert style body 0018. Sitka spruce top, um, genuine, also uh, nitrocellulose finish, so that's why it's like that. Forgive me, this just came out of the case for the first time. Um, genuine mahogany back and sides, mahogany neck, open geared Grovers, um, one and three quarter inch nut width, 24.9 inch scale length. And I love this guitar. I think that obviously everybody wants a triple 018 when they're thinking about a small body Martin uh, mahogany back and sides guitar. The triple 018 will always be more popular than this one, but I think it's partially because that's the classic. Yes, this has been around forever as well, but I think people enjoy the triple O body and they've kind of been conditioned to feel that way. But the double O body, slightly smaller and um, just as warm and pretty and beautiful, not gonna have as much volume, but a wonderful finger picking guitar and uh, something that I think gets overlooked quite often. Same way I feel about the 0028, um, the Rosewood version. I think it gets overlooked because everybody wants a triple O 28. That's just how it goes. But for some of you that have you know, maybe want something a little bit smaller, want something even more comfortable, um, and are strictly sticking to finger picking, maybe some light strumming, I do not think that you should overlook this beauty, the triple O, see, I'm conditioned to, double O 18. So um, fantastic guitar, 14 frets, spruce, mahogany, gloss, nitrocellulose, open geared tuners. Let's move to the other one, and I'll tell you what's similar, what's different. The... FERC Vintage One OOM SM is also a perfect finger picking guitar. It also has a one and three quarter inch nut width, slightly longer scale length. This is a 12 fret. So 12 frets to the body. Um, this one has a sunburst top. You can get this without the sunburst top, but this is spruce and mahogany back and sides. This is not a gloss finish. This is the full pour hand rub satin finish that I really enjoy, especially, you know, Furch, Furk has a fantastic line of color series guitars from, you know, Indigo Blue, you know, Roy G. Biv, you know what I'm saying. But um, 
outside of those, they also have the vintage line, vintage one, two, and three. This is from the vintage one, so it'll be the least fancily appointed, which is always kind of my preference. I really like simple guitars, and the vintage stuff, um, you know, really takes home that old school sound, old school feel. I really, really like it. So this one will be slightly squeezed in, more so than the 18 um, Martin slightly stretched out a little bit. It's like a 18 series went into a taffy puller. I dig that. It's got the old school look with the 12 fret. I, something aesthetically I just love about 12 frets is when that bridge gets moved down a little bit. It just feels like a more old school kind of maybe orchestral look or something that goes along with that satin finish that we love talking about. I just like the look. It feels very vintage to me. Um, and you know, this one has Mahogany neck as well, open geared Goto tuners. These are 15 to one. And um, they have kind of the same bones, the same sort of vibe, but very different sound. Obviously, the big comment that I'm gonna get is you're comparing a 14 fret to a 12 fret. So let's just say, this is a 14 versus 12 fret comparison for small bodied spruce mahogany finger picking guitars. And let's take a listen. I'm starting off with a little bit of a pick because I know not everybody out there is just sticking to finger picking. Some people want to strum, and I think there's a narrative out there that, you know, you get a smaller guitar, you don't even get it for strumming. Like, don't even get a pick near this thing. They take strumming fine. They're totally fine strumming guitars. If you want the huge volume explosion, get yourself a triple O, an OM, a dreadnought, but a double O or an OOM, um, these will definitely do the job when it comes to uh, projecting some more sound when you're strumming versus finger picking. You'll hear the dynamic difference on both of these, but I'm gonna play a little bit of strumming, a little bit of finger picking, and you can hear kind of the differences. I'll tell you why I think those things are happening, um, but you know, keep your ears open, put your headphones on, crank up the speakers, whatever you need to do. Hear the difference between the FERC and the Martin. Let's check them out.
So there you have it. There's a little bit of a sound sample on both of these guitars. Now, you could probably hear the differences right off the bat when I switch from the Martin to the Furk. Um, this one, and I, you know, I think there's a few things that go into it. One, this is 14 frets. Um, it does seem like there's, it's hard to tell. I need a, you know, a geometry major to tell me what the volume of both of these bodies are. But I will say that this one seemed a little bit more dialed back. It seemed like maybe it's a little more of a refined sound. This one had much bigger boasting resonance and I could feel it vibrate a little bit more against my body. I think that part of that goes into the finish. You know, this is a gloss finish and this is a satin finish. I always feel like there's a little bit more that I get out of a body from a satin finish guitar, but some people don't like satin. They need the gloss and vice versa. So that's something to choose from, uh, choose between when you're looking at both of these guitars. One thing I like about this guitar um, that I've seen on some of the vintage line, I really like the tortoise shell binding. Faux tortoise, uh, as Chris would say, no, f you know, faux tortoises were harmed or whatever. You got something, some dad joke. So I like the tortoise shell binding. This is just normal black binding like you see um, on a lot of those 18 series guitars, but I do think it kind of fits. This is more of the classic look that everybody expects. The sunburst on here, and some of the different kind of more furky appointments um, I think are welcome. So I think they're very cool. But uh, they are comparable somewhat in price. These, neither of these are cheap guitars and it's because you're getting all solid wood guitars that despite them being a little bit smaller, these are pro level instruments. I believe right now the 0018 goes for about $27.99 and the FERC Vintage 1 OOM goes for just a little bit less than that. I think it's right around 2,600, but you can check for the you know, full pricing on our website. Um, so I think if you're in the market for something that's gonna be a you know, small bodied guitar that's ideally suited for finger picking, but takes a strum just fine, um, these guitars will probably come up in your search. I think most people go for the Martin because it's Martin and it's American made. Um, if you did not know, FERC are made in the Czech Republic, but I think we're in a constantly changing world where you do not need to have an American made guitar for it to be the highest possible quality. Um, everything that we've gotten from FERC, I just, you know, I'm constantly impressed by. We recently got some beautiful red deluxes in that just blew my mind. Um, and we took a look at the Vintage 2 Dreadnought. I mean, I think they're doing some very interesting stuff with acoustic guitars right now. And I think as time goes on, we'll start to see more people preferring um, something that's just a little bit different. And I think they're kind of one of the next big names that more people will know about. So it's worth it to get in. It's not the ground floor anymore. I mean, they've been around for quite a long time. They have a lot of history, but more and more people are learning about them. They're gonna be harder to find. They'll get the crazy back orders that Martin's expecting right now. So while you can, get somewhere that you can play some of these guitars. We have a lot throughout the colored series, but also the vintage stuff. I think it's all worth playing. So yes, I am using this as kind of a angle to push something that's a little different. However, the uh, 0018 that I just set down, cause I don't like doing the two guitar thing. Um, it's also somewhat underrated because everybody wants the 0018, everybody wants the 0028 get yourself into the double O stuff because it really just might be a better guitar for you. Um, don't always trust the triple O 18 is the best selling spruce mahogany, you know, non dreadnought out there, whatever it is, there's always some kind of stat. So try out some different stuff, try the single O 18, the double O 18 and the triple O 18 and really make the right choice for you. What's comfortable for you, what you like the sound the best on, and uh, if you're not digging anything from the standard lineup of Martin, maybe check out something that's comparable, like the FERC Vintage One OOM, SM, Spruce, Mahogany. They also make an SR, Spruce Rosewood. It's all worth checking out, and there's plenty of guitars out there. The whole thing that we're trying to do is find, help you at least narrow down the search to what might be the perfect one for you, and I think there's a lot of players that could make some beautiful sounds with either of these guitars. So, like I said, if you wanna learn more about them, go to our website, alamomusic.com. If they are not on the website, it means that we sold the guitars. 
but it does not mean that we won't be able to get more of them and maybe we'll be able to get them quickly. So if you are interested, let us know. We can put in a special order, get it here as soon as possible because we would like you to uh, get the full experience when you're working with us. We love meeting people. We love answering all kinds of questions. So any questions you have, please feel free to comment below, email us, call us. You can ask for me. You can ask for any of the sales guys. They're a good bunch, and we love to help you. So thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.